Brian, thank you so much for coming and joining us. We're glad to talk to you today. Thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, where should we start? I'm going to start with a question that I've been having for a while. You're from Newcastle, Australia, uh -huh. in Rahway, New Jersey. Yeah. Go ahead and explain <laughs> that. It's kind of like uh, the fate of the gods, really, because <laughs> back home everyone says the same, why are you in Rahway, New Jersey? Um, 2008, I was trekking the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in South America, and I met former Mayor Jim Kennedy. But over that course of two weeks, I got to know Jim really well and we became friends. And he said, you know, if you're ever in America, come and visit. And it so happened by a chain of events, the following year I was asked to come and play at uh, Union County Music Festival over in Clark. And so I came to see Jim and Jim took me around railway and said, you know, we're, we're starting this whole arts district idea and uh, the idea is to economically stimulate the city through the arts, which to me is a, an incredibly cool thing to do. And so then over the course, since then, that was like 2009 I came out here, I would started coming to back to New York City and staying probably three or four times a year. And I, every time I did, I'd come out and spend a few days out here with Jim and I watched the Hamilton stage go from being this rundown old piece of cement to this incredibly state-of-the-art theatre. And I watched the, the developments in the UC pack next door getting done. I saw a lot of the projects going on and I said, man, I could live in a place like this. And they went, really? And I went, sure. I said, this is rocking you, just like, just out of New York City. So I packed my bags and here I am, railway. Awesome. Ready to yeah. rock and roll. <laughs> and yeah. you've been yeah. rock and rolling. Railway's not really that far from what, you know, people might go, yeah. why railway? But, you know, I'm four, four blocks from the train yeah. station and I'm right. on the train, I'm in Manhattan with a Super guitar and I'm playing shows. And yeah. um, it's, it's very easy. And I've written a, a rock musical that I'm going to try and get launched this year. Um, I've got a friend who's helping with me with that. Um, and, you know, what we're, the aim is, is that we will do a, a reading of it in Manhattan, but also out here as well. And, oh, and it'll be a great. reading with a live band. Awesome. So, you know, I'll put, put a group together. Where is that? It would be over at the Hamilton stage? Probably at the Hamilton stage, yeah. That's what I'm looking at at this Very stage. Very cool. Yeah. What area do you like the best? Like, are the parks something that interests you? Uh, the downtown area? Look, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. Like, you know, every day, I, I, even in, when it was snowing, I was jogging around the r river park. I think it's just gorgeous down there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's so interesting to see how in winter you've got this park and it's just like winter wonderland. And then for me, you know, a month later, it, it's like it's all green and, and flowers are coming out. It's crazy, you know. Yeah. Where I live, we don't have seasonal change like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So that's kind of where the inspiration comes for the Four Seasons of Rahway photo competition then, sure. I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, an initiative that I put together with the library because um, I'm doing some work, some arts works with them. And the whole idea was that I would put photos that I was taking of Rahway on my Facebook and people back home were going, wow, that looks amazing, that place. And look at the snow and look at the, the, all of these things. Yeah. And, and then as the seasons changed, it was like, but it was only four weeks ago that there was snow and right. now it's not. And then two weeks later, there's flowers in the trees. And so I put to the library, we do a photo competition over four seasons and people go out and take photographs of the city, both um, like natural photos, um, architecture, industry, and portraits or people around so the city. So it could be anybody from anybody at all. That's there's two sections. One's going to be a school competition for school kids under 18, and the other will be an open competition. Oh wow! And anybody can enter. There's it's going to be up I'll online enter. pretty soon. <laughs> sure, you know. Um, and when? No, I'm only kidding. Well, you may do. You know, <laughs> at the end of at the end of the four seasons, like we're going to have an exhibition every quarter. And at the, after the fourth exhibition, we're going to get the best pictures and publish a book called The Four Seasons of Railway. So back at home, you're, um, you're a professor of music. Yeah. And here, you're also getting involved with, the, with a music education program. Yeah. Do you have advice that you would give to maybe some you know, young, mm. budding musicians um, about kind of building their music careers and their talents? Sure. You know, I mean, one of the things I, I tell anyone who, who's thinking about a music career is do it because you love it. 
don't do it because you think you're going to be the next pink or make a million dollars out of it. Right. You know, statistics show that you make you have a better chance winning the lottery than you do making a million dollars as a musician. There's talent, there's luck. Um, you know, I worked with Slim Jim Fanner from the Stray Cats, and he said that their fame was a bit about it was a timing, it was luck. They they were in New York where they grew up. Things weren't really happening here. They flew to, to England and they had their hair all done up and they dressed all rockabilly when everybody else in London was dressing punk rock. So they stood out and they had pink jackets on. The three of them lived in an apartment for 10 weeks together, but they rehearsed every day. And they'd been playing together for three or four years and they started going to the punk clubs and people were noticing them and they started talking about what they were doing. And 10 weeks later, they got their first show, but everybody turned up because they thought, who are these American guys? Right. He said, we played our first show and blew everyone away. He said, well, you know, we were in the right place at the right time, but we were prepared. He said, because we could play. And he said, and on top of that, we had Brian Setzer. And he said, and Brian was just, like, phenomenal. And he said, so, he said, there's all those elements, you know. So Slim Jim, that's, uh, if I remember rightly, he's the person that was, kind of got you involved with the Machu Picchu trip and yeah. Love, Hope, Strength. Well, Love, Hope, Strength is a, a rock and roll-based cancer charity. Um, a singer from an 80s band, Mike Peters, from Wales, he had a group called The Alarm, and he got, he had leukaemia. And he said while he was getting his treatment in hospital, he was looking out the window every day and could see um, a mountain. And he said, if I ever survive this, I'm going to climb to the top of that mountain with my guitar and I'm going to play some, play music. Mm. And so he, he recovered and he, did that, but he found that when he said he was going to do it, all these alarm fans said, well, we want to come with you. Mm. And he thought, well, if we do this, we could put some money to the hospital that saved my life. Cancer treatment shouldn't be a, a privilege. It should be, you know, a given that everyone should have the, the option for it. And so they decided to start a charity called Love, Hope, Strength and bring in musicians to um, to support this and make money through through rock festivals and events to uh, to then help people in other parts of the, the world. I started working with Jim just before he went to that, and he was telling me about the charity. And I've been doing work back home. Um, my daughter had a friend that died. <laughs> Still kills me. I was talking to Jim about it. And when he was talking about the charity, I, I said, you know, when this little kid was sick, I'd play some shows and try to do things what I could, you know. Then he said, well, you so, should so get on board with this because it affects people all around the world. And so the, the following year I signed up and said, yeah, whatever I can do. They were doing Machu Picchu in, in um, South America. And the idea was we raised $300,000 to put a, a mobile cancer center in regional Peru because the only people in Peru that could get treatment were the people that were living in Lima mm -hmm. and only those who could afford the treatment would get it. Right. So this meant that people didn't have to get to Lima, they didn't have to afford it, it was a given. Um, the following year we went to Africa and we um, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and we put the first children's cancer, cancer centre in East Africa. So wow. it's one of those things, you know, I've been continuing with it, I still continue with it. Next year we're talking about going back to Africa because we raised the money and we, the idea was we're building three wards, a love, hope and a strength. The, the building's there, but we were only able to fit two of the, the wards, so the idea is we go and do this climb again and this will fit that and make us self-sustaining for 10 years, for the next wow, 10 years. that's awesome. So it's, you know, and it's a way that, you know, we, we go and we play music and, and people watch it online and, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's a way of using what you do to, you know, For support people. You do something good in the world, yeah. yeah. Now, if somebody wanted to get involved in that charity or, or donate, how, is there well, a website? Lovehopestrength.org. So what do you want me to do? I don't know. Do you want to play one of your originals? Sure. I'll do this song. This is, this is a, a, a romantic song. Come here and lay down beside 
beside me Get some stars while the night drifts away Promise that you won't deny me And I won't give up on today Cause there's something about this that's magic Made all my dreams reappear I gave you dust for your sadness To take away all of your fears I won't give up on you baby I will never let you down And when you need the world to stop turning I'll hold it down Call me baby, I can be all that you need me to be And when love appears at your door, you'll know that it's me That's probably enough of the song <laughs> That was awesome Bravo. I won't give up on you baby I will never let you down And when you need the world to stop turning I'll hold it down So don't you give up on me, baby I can be all that you need me to be And when love appears at your door You'll know that it's me